Hey guys, it's Lizzie. So, this is gonna be a long video, I'm just already telling you because we got a lot to talk about. So today is the um, 12th of October and I'm putting up a TBR because at this point in the month I have four readathons that I'm participating in still, which is four more than I usually still am participating in. I've already participated in the one readathon that I always participate in, which is a yearathon. The vlog for that will be hopefully going up in the near future. But, um, October, there are a ton of readathons going on. And because I am 41 books behind my goal right now, I have decided to um, insanely beef up my goal by participating in a bunch of readathons. The four that I am participating in, two are through the entire month, and two are happening this weekend slash through next week. So the two that are happening during this month are hashtag boo to you readathon, which I will hopefully link all of these down below. I started following a readathon Twitter that has all the updates of readathons that are going on during the months, and that's how I got all these information. But I will try to remember to link all the channels down below that I got all the information for the different readathons. Um, and the other full month readathon that I am participating in is hashtag BYOBthon. Um, and that one has a bunch of different challenges, and basically I'm just picking ones that fit books. Um, and then the ones that I'm participating this upcoming week, uh, which I am going to be vlogging, is hashtag read your face off readathon, which is the 13th and 14th of October from 9 a.m. to 8.59 a.m. your time zone. And then spookathon, which a lot of people participate in, uh, which is the 15th to the 21st of October. This video, if you can't tell from the uh, title, is a uh, super ambitious, TBR for all of these. Now I'm gonna start with the ones that I can give a more specific TBR and I'm gonna save um, the two that have less specific TBRs till the end because those are just gonna be me reading a bunch of books off to you that kind of aren't as specific. Starting with Boo to You Readathon, there are four challenges slash goals for the readathon, one of which I can't participate in uh, which is the group read, because I could not get a hold of the book. Which makes me kind of sad, because I wanted to, but we're going to let it go. The group read is Impressions de France uh, group read, and the book is a French mystery classic called Monsieur, de, uh, Monsieur le Croc by Emile Gibroy, I think is how you say it. But I looked at my library, I looked on audio, like an audiobook registry that I have for two different libraries, um, and I just can't get my hands on it, and I can't afford to buy a book right now. So I'm going to have to pass on doing the group reads for um, most of the readathons. There's one I might be able to get my hands on, I've got to see if I can. Um, the three challenges I can participate in, they're all Disney themed. So the first one is Madame, uh, my handwriting I can't read, Madame Leo, Madame Leota's, I can't read my handwriting right now, Madame Leota's library, read a book you think belongs in the library at the Haunted Mansion. For this one, I picked Alice I Have Been, uh, by Melanie Benjamin. Uh, this one is also going to work for Spookathon, but this is a book that is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, and basically it's Alice after she leaves Wonderland, so when she's an adult. Second challenge is your park-inspired costume. Read a book that inspired something in the Disney parks or is inspired by Disney parks. Um, for this one, I have a couple, so I chose the leather bound editions of these from Barnes & Noble, but I have Peter Pan by J.M. Barrie, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea by Jules Verne, and The Swiss Family Robinson by Johan David Weiss, or Weiss, I think it's Weiss. Um, and all of these technically could fall under the library one as well. So uh, if I don't read them for one challenge, I could read them under the other. Most likely, I have a feeling I'm going to go for Peter Pan because it is the shortest out of them, but we'll see. 
And then the last one is the one that I may have to kind of stretch because it is um, Candy Cauldron slash Pumpkin Spice. Read a book that's sweet and cozy and perfect for fall. And the thing is, and this is something that I didn't realize until partially Hannah from Ricardo 7 pointed out, and then also until I went to the library trying to find a book, I don't read cozy fall books. I read thrillers. But she was like, that's totally not you. Like, I would think that you would read all these like cozy books and you read these like mystery thriller books. Um, and it's totally true because every other book that I picked basically is thrillers and things like that. But I went to the library and I picked two kind of contemporary books that my reasoning for them being cozy fall reads are there are that they are very fluffy and they are very school oriented. So I was like, okay, school starts in fall, fall, cozy read. Um, and that they're actually both by the same author. I didn't realize um, until I got home and was talking about them on my vlog that they're by the same author. So um, it's The Boyfriend App and The Academy by Katie Seiss. So then getting into the Spookathon TBR because as I said I'm going to do the ones with challenges that are more specific before I go into the ones that have a lot of challenges that I'm just kind of going to pick books then pick challenges that fit them. So uh, Spookathon has five challenges and a buddy read uh, situation. Um, the buddy read again I'm not going to be participating in because I can't get my hands on the book. Okay an hour later we're back because uh one of my best friends called me and it's raining again so <laughs> there we go. Um, so moving on to Spookathon there are five challenges and then a buddy read. The buddy read for this is Toil and Trouble which is an anthology. Um, again I'm not going to be participating in the buddy read because I can't get a hold of it. Um, my library doesn't have it and I can't get an audible, an audible? I can't get an audiobook of it uh, so Unfortunately, not going to be able to participate in that. However, um, the first challenge is to read a thriller, and for that I'm going to read There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. Um, I love Stephanie Perkins, so I've wanted to read this forever, but I picked it up last October, and because of the books that I had on my TBR and such, I wasn't going to be able to get to it before Halloween, and I wanted to read it during, like, October because it's spooky and such. Um, even though uh, Spookathon is gonna start Sunday. I'm gonna wait till probably like Monday or so to read this because um, I'm puppy sitting by myself on Sunday so I'm gonna wait till I'm home and have other people with me in case it does freak me out. The second book is read a book with purple on the cover and for this one I'm gonna read Crazy House by James Patterson and Gabrielle Charbonnet. This one just sounds really good and I want to see if it's as good as it sounds. The next one, read a book not set in our time period. This is the one that Alice I Have Been is going to fit for as well. So this one I might start like Saturday, or I might start like Sunday, um, just because it does fit for multiple of the readathons. And this takes place in the 1800s, 1900s, somewhere around there. It definitely takes place not in our time period. I know that. The fourth challenge is read a book with a spooky word in the title. For this one I'm going to read Bad Girls Don't Die, um, spooky word being die, by Kate Alander. This is one I've been wanting to read for a while. Um, it also works for the BYOB-a-thon for um, a book that is part of a series. That's one of the few that I know which challenge I'm gonna try and use it for. The last challenge is read a book with pictures and there's two that technically could work for this. They also both work for a challenge in the BYOB-a-thon. So they are Night Film by Marisha Pessel and House of Furies by Madeline Rue. This one works for a book over 400 pages in the BYOB-a-thon and then Night Film works for both a book over 400 pages and a book that is recommended to you by a friend. I've been recommended this book by a lot of people but it also has like 
full page immersive uh, pictures. So that works for the pictures and then these, this one just like in Asylum and such has pictures as well. The BYOBathon, there is a, an entire graphic of, and I'm going to see if I can get this to focus, I don't know if I can, of all the different challenges, but I'll quickly read you all the different challenges because the remaining books that I have work for the challenges as well as the last readathon that I'm participating in. We have, and it's for the BYOBathon, takes place for the entire month and you can read any of these challenges. Pumpkin orange cover, apple red cover, fall leaves on the cover, dark brown book, author, favorite author, over 400 pages, old musty book, an audiobook, starts with A-U-T-U-M-N, reread, book in a series, graphic novel or, man or manga, book with a candle, set in autumn, woods on the cover, creepy cover, royal family, set on Halloween, Features a Betrayal, Features a Villain, Recommended by BYOBathon Host, Book by Stephen King or Dean Coots, Paranormal Romance, A Mystery, Features a Creature, A Kidnapping Slash Imprisonment, Features a Monster, Witch, Beast, Werewolf, Vampire, Etc., Serial Killer, A Creepy Setting, Features Clowns or Circus, A Retelling, Thriller, Shape Shifter, Horror, Recommended by a Friend. I've got a lot of books that fit into this category, so we're just gonna jump right in because there are a ton. Also, the last readathon that I'm participating in, which is this weekend, um, is the Read Your Face Off readathon, which goes the 13th and 14th of October from 9 a.m. to 8.59 a.m. Um, they have a group read and a, um, continuing group read. So they're reading the third book in the Game of Thrones series um, and they're on Storm and Swords which was their September October read but it's the third book in a series and I'm not starting that. Oh, just I don't have time. Um, and then their group read is The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn and I might be able to get that but I don't think I'll be able to get it before tomorrow. So Unless I can get it in an audiobook format, we'll see. Going into the remainder of the books I have, these fit for a lot of the different categories that I just read to you, um, and also I might read them for the Read Your Face off -a -thon. So just reading as many books as possible. So we have Carval by Stephanie Garber, Features the Circus, The Cursed Ballet, and Leaping at Shadows by Megan Atwood, the Sin Eater's Daughter by Melinda Salisbury. Um, this features a royal family and um, a betrayal slash villain. So there's a lot of ones this one fits under. The Call by Pieter Oguilin. I may have mispronounced that. This one again fits under a lot of categories, so I don't remember which ones I had pulled this for. Smoke by Ellen Hopkins. This is the sequel to Burned. This one I pulled for the um, dark brown, because it has the like brown colors going through here. Dear Martin by Nick Stone. This will probably be more so for the Read Your Face Off readathon, because it doesn't totally fit many of the categories for the BYOBathon. But um, I do really want to read this. Lurleen McDaniel's uh, Red Tattoo Heart. This fits for the Apple Red book. Savages by Matt Wyman. The Last Good Day of the Year by Jessica Warman. Welcome to the Dark House and Return to the Dark House by Lori Faria Stellars. Um, these feature a nightmare elf. Like, I think that's a really creepy character. Also, the covers are kind of creepy, so these fit for a number of things, too. Um, Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. This is a book that takes place on Halloween, so it fits for that. The Looking Glass House by Vanessa Tate. Um, retelling of Alice in Wonderland, so it fits for that category. But so would um, Alice I Have Known. The Replacement by... Brenna Yanoff, 
that cover is gorgeous but creepy and uh, features creatures that replace human children in the cradle. Cool, right? Stolen by Lucy Christopher. This is a reread and one of the challenges is to reread a book. So this is one I probably will do during the uh, Read Your Face Off-a-thon because it is a reread. But I really like this book. In the Woods by Tana Fr uh, French and uh, this one works for a book that has the woods on the cover because it literally has the woods but also it has the woods. Such a Pretty Girl by Laura Weiss. I have a number of reasons that I pulled this one. Awake by Natasha Preston. Go Ask Alice. Letting Anna Go. Lucy in the Sky. And Jay's Journals all by Anonymous. Spectacle Book One by Megan Rose Giardris. Zombie Ilium. I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, number One Gretchen and Number Two Human Resources by Arthur Depins. Memorial by Chris Robertson and Rich Ellis. Um, one of the challenges is to read a graphic novel. Um, there's also a challenge that is features a monster, witch, beast, werewolf, vampire, etc., which a lot of these would fit under. The Breakdown by B.A. Paris. Vivian Divine is Dead by Laura Sabell. The Couple Next Door by Sherry Le Pena. And Unbury Carol by Josh Mailerman. This is a retelling of Sleeping Beauty, I believe. So, all in all, lots of books, lots of things to pick for the rest of the month. Um, I am going to mention that I am holding off doing uh, my September, October Life's Too Short to Read Bad Books uh, TBR that I posted last month, and those books are going to be pushed to November, just because um, most of those I picked from the TBR my sister did, and almost all of them are contemporary, and I am just not in the mood this month to read contemporary. So I know that none of those books I'm going to pick up this month, and I want to give them all a chance. So I'm going to push that to November, um, when I've had my thriller moment, and then I can read those in November. So, if you want to let me know what you're reading, or if you're participating in any of these readathons, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button, because it lets me know that you enjoyed it. And if you want to see future videos of which of these that I read, and if I hit my goals for October, make sure you click that subscribe button and the notification bell, and then I will talk to you in my next video.